Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to uh, show you how to change identity option at runtime. So you know that here we have an identity in the areas folder. There we have an identity like that. These are identity. So if you want to change the identity options, uh, you can go for your identity options where your identity is enrolled. Like that here we have a identity role like that. So if you want to change some uh, identity options, so you can make it changes right there. So options, options. So uh, here we have a uh, options dot options dot password dot required digit required non alphanumeric required unique characters require uppercase required digits there is a required digits is true so that is the one setting right there okay so no you you know that so if you want to change some other uh, so you can just pass it here so here we have an options dot password dot required digits that is require uppercase if you want to add it here dot require oops dot oops not there Okay, okay, uh, it's my mistake because here we have only single item at the time. So here I'm going to add that is options dot password dot require a lower case that is true. That setting you must to do here that is this so if you want to change the settings uh, using uh, your file uh, using at runtime so you can just go for this uh, the controller section and uh, here we have to change their settings okay so first of all you can make some model right there or you can just go for the controller also like uh, in the auth controller just click on the auth controller and here you can just go for the service that is and that is the identity options you know so uh, here we have a identity options so private read only and here we have a i options i options snapshot so here we have a i option snapshot and you can see that here we have a interface microsoft dot extensions dot options right or i option snapshot out t options so in which you can just pass i uh, option snapshots and in which you can just pass identity options and there is identity options okay so options snapshot now just add this uh, i option snapshots and add it here add parameter to the constructor and here i'm going to add a new method to change public i action result and change password requirement okay and in which you can just pass bool that is required digit okay so so here we have a required digits okay so uh, that method is the post action methods right there so http post and in which you can just pass return uh, that is the uh, options snapshot uh, that is the option snapshot dot value dot password dot required digit that is required digits and the required digit value is required digit and after that we will send back to return 
redirect to action that is locking so you can do this so uh, that is the HTTP POST method and in which you can just pass the boolean value required digit it is true then it is true otherwise you can just make it as false so that value will be set in the identity options okay so uh, if you want to uh, make some changes uh, in the in that setting so you can just add it here like that uh, user registration values okay and uh, also here we have you can just make a new controller like uh, that is change uh, identity so that is the method and here we have written view so here we have a written view change identity so just copy that function and add it here so here we have just pass in the controller section and here we have a model that is change identity so in which just you pass a new model that is empty file change identity option .cs. and wait for some time and here we have a bool the value is prop bool and the value is that is required digit so change identity option is there account controller that is auth controller and required digits that is uh, model so you can say model dot required digit okay so save this and you can make it here add view razor view change identity is the option and the template is create and the model is that is change identity so change identity option there so here we have only single value that is the checkbox and the value is ASP4 that is required digit so similar like that options you will add it here like uh, many other functions like uppercase lowercase you want to add it here so save this value and run it your project okay so uh, here you notice that stop change auth controller and that is the method we will call on the CSS TML so here you can notice that if you want to change some password, some required digits, some length, string length, etc. So you can make some changes in the identity like uh, require lower case, upper case, alphanumeric, required length, require unique characters and max failed access attempts and uh, require unique email like that. So you, you want to change this uh, at here. So you are not allowed auth controller, home and index so just I want to go for auth controller and and the matter name is that is change identity so here we have a required digits yes just I want to set it here that is final so in the during the registration process you have to set the required digits process like uh, digits is required so turn and the email is xyjard at the gmail.com password is uh, digits is required so uh, like that
so if you make some changes password must have at least one digit you can notice that so digit is required during the process so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core